He's a bitter man. <laughs>
Richard Bruce Clay, Stairbridge author, hosted an open mic, spoken word, poetry, acoustic music night for four years down here every Friday. Years and years ago, I used to come to the bush. It was on the kind of rambling, random pub crawl that took you around places like Old Hill, Cradley Heath, Quarry Bank. Not the most successful pub at that stage. It used to keep on going out of business and then starting up again. I don't think the beer was all that good. I think the best you could hope for was probably Bass Special on a good night. I was, you know, feeling all right about doing uh, spoken word. Um, and thought, well, you know, I might as well, just a bit. And for the following four years, I ran a regular spoken word evening. We did have people who've, you know, self-published and in some cases published books. People like Steve Clark, Andy Owens. We had uh, Charlie Jordan. Um, we had, had a few others who've, you know, quite well known on the local scene. I love the bush because it's such a supportive atmosphere. We get a really nice comedy crowd coming from all up and down the UK and we support each other, give each other notes, recommendations. So this is pretty much the creative hub of the West Midlands all coming together. And this weekend is really special because it's a bush fest. So we've got loads and loads of acts coming down. So we're going to see what they've been up to for the past year. And uh, we inspire each other as well when I see a really good set. That inspired me maybe to write better than I normally am, just to get up you know, to that standard. But yeah, and I really love it. Is that the Smurfs though? <laughs> I asked for the Smiths, right? I had a great, I had a great time. Uh, audience is sensational. One of the best outside pub industrial estate gigs I've ever done, actually. your world everything's got to be perfect your teeth are never white enough your clothes are never flat and it's, it's just bullshit. it's just got to be what it is and that's what the bush is the bush is what it is and that's what I get from it that's what I've learned from it just be what you are this song to tell his family that are partially to blame for his death <laughs> didn't see that coming did you didn't see that coming what does the bush mean to me? The bush is like my spiritual home. It's just fantastic. It gives everyone a chance. You know, everyone. Even me. Well, I couldn't get a gig anywhere. And the bush took me in, took me in, like a, like a, like a forgotten, abandoned, orphan child. And gave me a chance, gave me a voice, gave me a platform, and now, Johnny Shawoody Woody Sorrow's the name! Murph Medivant had light entertainment! The game! As a nice little spoken word venue, I think you'd have to go a long way to find anything more welcoming. The bush is a truly lovely place, it's a local treasure, and I cannot speak more highly of 
Dave Francis. Um, he's done a magnificent job. I like it here. There you go. Cheers. Having a good gig is one thing. Having a good gig with the purple curtain behind you. Something else.